camera. You already knew how to use a flip camera, okay? And when you heard to use the Max, no, I knew a bit, but I knew a little bit. Okay, so you knew, you've used them, I had experience, but no, I knew a little bit. I knew some of the different angles and shoot from, but I've learned more. Okay. Editing. Editing. Is that something you've learned? Yeah. Okay, what did you learn about it? Um, about editing. How to make something make sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Put things in that you need. Take out things that you don't need. Fantastic. Anything else? Connor, did you learn anything? No. You knew everything already? Ah, and to um, the different shots. Of oh, the different shots. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Anything else? Anyone? Girls, you haven't answered anything that's brought to you up. Sean? I know how to do angles, but then the show is more angles than I know. Okay. Did you know how to use iMovie? You did. No? So you've learned how to use our movie, okay? Well, did you know, when you started this project, did you think it was going to be interesting? Yeah. No. yeah. So going to be boring? Put your hands up if you thought it was going to be interesting. No. Um. Okay, put your hands up if you thought it was going to be a bit boring. Okay. At the end of it now, how do you feel? Was it interesting? Put your hands up if you think it was interesting. Yeah. Excellent. Anyone that thought it was still boring? Okay. Do you, what was it that you liked doing in this project, or how do you feel about this project? What did you like about it? Um, like the film camera ring, and then like, like you learn know, um, new stuff. Like what, tell me one thing that you learned. Um, like how to use like proper video camera. Excellent. How to use the fur ring maker. Excellent, we had to use, so that's one bit that you enjoyed. Anything else every, anybody else enjoyed? Um, and the experience. What about the experience, maybe? Um, like going to Belgium, like going to make things and doing sort of things. Okay, have you ever done anything like that before? No. And do you think, was it a valuable experience? Yes. Okay. I like cooperating with people in the past. Okay, so you work with people that you normally wouldn't work with. Fantastic. Meeting new people and learning about Yeah, you've met new people, you've met a lot of new people, haven't we? Okay, anything else? Going to the European Parliament when you were in the first school. Excellent, going to the European Parliament. Learn that where you was in the EU. Learning that we were part of the EU. And what the EU yeah. was. You've yeah. all learned something. So what didn't you know before you started that you know now? What didn't you know? Go on, Liz. That we were in the EU. Excellent. We, 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 we didn't know that we were part of the EU half of it. Okay? I didn't know there was an EU. You didn't know there was an EU? I didn't know that there was somewhere in the yeah, there are so many countries, because it is, there are so many countries, a lot. Yeah. And what an ethnographic documentary is and how to edit one. Excellent. What an ethnographic documentary is and how to edit one. What the EU does for the country. What the EU does for our country. And what, how, what, well, that was a bit controversial, wasn't it? Richard? Yeah. Why is yeah. it controversial? Because some people like to be in it. Some people like to be in it, some people have different opinions, didn't we? We'll come to that in a minute. Different opinions we've got. One of them was, one of the questions we asked was, what's your local dish? What makes you British? Yeah. What made them British? What did the different responses that we got? What made them British? English breakfast. English breakfast. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. And what, the pound of the Queen. The pound of the Queen. Sunday rolls. Sunday rolls. Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. The uh, red telephone box. The red telephone box. The telephone box. Pardon? Tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Anything else? Okay. Well, when, how about when we asked them, um, did everybody give us the right, give us similar answers? Or did people give us some strange answers? Strange, strange. 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 strange answers. So what, what else did we get when we, when we were talking about, especially when it came to food? Korean, or Chinese, and I went to Korea. Yeah, so when we said what makes you British, they said our local takeaway. Chinese, curry. Okay? That was strange. But what is an ethnographic documentary? What does it mean? Go on, we're going to go around and get different people's opinions. Like so, social ideas of identities of people. Yeah, okay, social identities. Fantastic. Come out. Um, like different people, it's not just one word, like, so it is just like different people. Okay, getting different people's opinions. Um, you take people's opinions and you can work on them and then show them to the world. Yeah, take people's different people's opinions and they show them to an audience. And it's real opinions, but documentary quite wrong. Excellent. Real opinions, is that what you're going to say, Reese? Okay, different people's opinions, different people's viewpoints, but keeping it quite raw. 
Okay, okay. so you met to different people. Okay, what did you learn about your community and about citizenship? Because don't forget, we started off, remember the first couple of lessons that we did? Okay, what did we do? We did the, remember when we looked at all the different, uh, we looked at the map and then we did the vault, yeah? We did a vault and we all were like unsure about being part of the EU and some of us, most of us were unsure. We didn't know whether we should be part of it, we shouldn't be part of it. What have you learned since then? Have your opinions changed since that first ballot that we did? We should. You think we should? Yeah. Put your hands up if you think we should. Put your hands up if you think we shouldn't. Okay, look, two people. Connor's a bit unsure still, because he's been kind of twitching. Right, so what have you learned then? Guys that want to be part of it, why? And how, what influenced your decision? Come on, girls, you put your hands up. Go on then, sorry. Because some of the teachers were saying, like, if we was in the EU, we'd be suffering, like, business-wise. Okay, just the teachers? No. No, the people outside school. Outside school as well, because trade was a big thing. No, it's trade. Trade. Well, it's actually like balance. There's all these uh, answers, all the arguments about it being like people, the, the, the positives and negatives. Okay, the positive and negatives. About there's lots of arguments. Can I just ask you to speak a bit louder? Because remember, just to flip cameras. It's a nice, really objective voice. Anything else then that you've learned? How about citizenship wise? If we didn't communicate that much, we would learn the language. Okay, if we didn't learn the language. Excellent. If we didn't communicate with them, we wouldn't learn different languages. Why do you think it's important to be part of the EU? Is there any importance? Do you think there's any importance that we get any value from it? Yes. No. Yes, no. Yes, why? <laughs> Give me one thing other than trade. What other benefits do we get? What did we do when we went to Brussels? Was it easy? No, because no, no. one spoke English. Yeah, no, but we're getting there, was it easy oh. to get there? Was there yeah. any restrictions? Not really. Were we yeah. able to just go and freely just get into the airport and yeah. just do what we no wanted? Visa. Yeah, no visa. It was really easy, wasn't it? Would that be possible if we weren't part of the EU? No. No, it would be much difficult. So it's easy to travel, yeah? Anything else? Any other benefits? Learn to back to Germany, don't we? Okay, we get some support from those countries. What type of support can they give us? So, like the, um, like the war in Iraq, like with the Americans, they're not in the EU, they came and helped us. Brilliant, okay, so you can get support from the countries if you're in trouble. Any other support? What did we learn about recent news that we looked at? What's going on at the moment? Oh, with Greece. With Greece, okay. And what's going on with the rest of the countries? What's going on? What are we all doing? Um, forking out for them. Forking out for them. Well, there's like an economic downturn, and there's all these countries suffering because the euro is collapsing. Brilliant, excellent. Okay, next question. From all the films made in the school, what picture do you get about the citizens in this community and how they see themselves in relation to Europe? So basically, how do you think the people around Willingham and Birmingham see themselves when they compare themselves against European, Europe, the rest of Europe? Do you think they're still European? No. Why? Talk about what you've learned. I want you to speak about it properly. Anything, why do you feel they don't feel European? Because they don't even know they're in the EU. They don't even know they're in the EU, that's number one. Why do you think they don't know they're part of the EU? Because we're not really close to Europe. We're not really... Okay. We're not really close to Europe, we're more British. We're not very close to Europe, we're more British, okay? Anything else? What else do you think? I don't have some of the same customs that other European countries have. Explain that further. Oh, yes. We don't, in some ways, we might not celebrate things other countries in Europe celebrate, and we don't necessarily have the same currency either. And because of all these differences we have, that's why people don't think of themselves as Europe. Why? Any other reasons why you don't? Feel, do you guys feel European? No. no. Not even after. How about after you've been to Brussels? Do you feel a bit more European? No. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, no. So we've got Mitch. No, not really feel that European some of us do. But what makes you different? Why are you different from them lot then? Because you are part of the EU. Why are you still don't you feel European? Because we speak English. Because we speak English. All right. Anything else? Oh yeah, the EU is really that big deal, but not many people know about it, so you don't really think about being part of it. Okay. What do you feel European? Because like if because we've been doing this, like um, some parts of it, like the identity, it does show that we are part of the, the European, but half of us we still British. You still feel British. Do you think are you proud of being British? Yeah. yeah. Right? What makes you proud? Why are you so proud of being British? What is it about us that makes us proud and makes us feel like an individual we country? Go on, Richard, you say something. You speak properly. You speak properly and you don't think they do? No, I don't know why it's that's because they can think we speak like that as well. Go on then. Pardon? Nice and loud. Because it's your home, fantastic. Because like we're um, like in your own own countries, like, like they're close together. They might like, have like, almost the same things. They've got the um, same personalities, same language, but like we've got our own accents and our own own uh, country. Okay, we've got our own accent, we've got our own country, and so you talked about something about the countries being together. What is it? Well, it's like Spain, Portugal, they both speak the same language and they both eat the same food. Okay. So, but how about the location of our country? Do you think that makes a difference? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because we're like an Iran so if we're attached to the mainland, really, then we might be edge more to Europe. So do you think the fact that we're a little island makes it a bit difficult for us to feel part of Europe? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Yes so or no? We're sort of under siege. Because like, if you just look on the map, we're thinking like, we're so far away. From, from we're far away from everyone else. Brilliant. Okay. okay. Did you feel that you had control over this, this documentary? Do you feel that like you've been quite independent? Yeah. Explain to me. Explain. Go on Because we were allowed to go out and we were not by you all the time. Okay. Were you at, do you feel that you had control over how the end documentary looked? Yeah, because we had, it in, we had edited it ourselves. Okay. And do you feel that like you're happy with the work? Yeah. Do you prefer that, that not having that constant involvement of somebody telling you what to do? Do you like making the choices yourself? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, right, the next question then. How did you feel about ha having the power to edit your documentary? and leaving things out. What did you learn? Do you think of being an editor is a powerful role? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because it's... Why? I don't know. Why do, do you think, do you think that a, being the person that puts a documentary together at the end, the editing person, has power? Yeah. Why? Because they say what goes and what goes in here. What yeah, they get to choose. So what, when you have the power, what influenced your thoughts? To not make it boring. Not make it boring? Anything else? Mixed views. Excellent, get mixed views. Anything else, anyone? But by, by having the power, who enjoy having the power and why? Well, it's because like, it, you can do what you want with it. It's your footage, um, you've climbed it and you can like build it all together yourself. Excellent. Did anyone have any different opinions? Did anybody say that, that in a hundred years' time things might be a bit different and we might not be part of the EU? Um, I can't remember who it was, but someone said that um, they didn't think the EU would even exist in a hundred years' time because um, things like going down with the Euro and there's more war starting, so they didn't think it would even exist. It wouldn't even exist, okay. I was like, someone that thought there might be a World War Three, um, but we're in Europe because there's all these countries and we're all arguing and not getting along because of Greece and Spain and uh, Ireland and they're all like going down the pot and then you've just got like us and we're like, we're just there, there and uh, 
we just said, do you think that we're we're they're having a negative impact on us? Yeah, because like there's all these people that think we should be in the EU and that we'll just help them out, but even though we shouldn't be, because we need to focus on our country. Okay, we did remember when we were talking to people and we said we asked them that okay, if we're not part of the EU, which countries could we be part of? Which countries could we build? Um, relationships with or a union with such as the EU? Um, I had a few people say that um, they think we might develop a closer relationship with America but then there were some other people who thought we would but they don't like the idea of the politics they have there. Okay, excellent. Any other... Right, this is about the other subjects. What other subjects, if any, can you think of that we could use in this ethnographic style documentary making? For other, any other subjects, and you need to say, if you say a subject, you need to say what type of uh, topic or project we could do in that subject using this style. Um, like cooking, because you can show, show someone how to like create a recipe and how to like make it. Fantastic. And um, RA, because you've made a documentary on different people's religions and what different people believe in their religion. Okay. Science. By doing it, you can tell people how to do different experiments and how things could happen and how they happen. And maybe how successful yeah. they are. Yeah, excellent. History. History? Like, or, I don't know. What could you find out about history? Say if you wanted to find out maybe, what, could, what type of things do you look at in history when you're studying at the moment? What topics have you covered? Henry, the eighth. Okay, so what could you maybe do? Did you go anywhere? No. Did they take it a trip? No. no. Went to Warwick Castle. Do you went to Warwick Castle? Yeah, so, yeah. so what could you do when you went to Warwick Castle? I don't know. But if you did? <coughs> yeah. You, what could you do if you went on a trip from history? Explain what happened. Explain what happened? Um, uh, like, like learn like new stuff like about history and stuff like learn about like um, um and what could you do while you're going on these trips and learning about history film camera it. yeah film camera okay anything else any other subjects oh. could do geography like you could show how like the world world's the history and how it evolved and how it could come to an end and its habitats.